we are continuing with our discussion on investing in shares and stocks of listed companies. Of course, our focus is on Sharia analysis. We have introduced you to a couple of screens, broad screens. One is called a business screen and the other one is called a financial screen. Our focus has been on the financial screens offered by or developed by a number of players in the market, starting from S&P Dow Jones to a very complicated methodology adopted by Pakistan Stock Exchange. In uh, methodologies ke under ratios is temal hoti. For example, in case of S&P Dow Jones methodology, the first ratio is debt equity ratio. Total debt divided by market capitalization should not exceed 33%. Then cash plus interest bearing securities divided by market cap should not exceed 33%. Then receivables divided by market cap should not exceed 33% or 49% depending on which methodology we are referring to. Now let me just use this uh, methodology which is from MSCI or this could be from FTSE as well. And then I would like to give a Sharia rationale for picking up these uh, ratios and of course the numbers. First we go for the numbers. A lot of people they say why debt equity should not exceed 33 percent. Where has this number come from? What is the Sharia rationale? Ye Quran mein hai, hadith mein hai, kahan hai? The answer to this one is that you know this whole ratio thing this is a new one so we don't find a direct reference either in the quran or in the hadith however there are certain a hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he actually referred to a thuluth one third for example in one uh, hadith he sallallahu alaihi wasallam says a thuluthu kathir one third bohut zyada hota hai, right? That was in a context. So from there, Sharia scholars picked up. They said that, you know, debt, interest-bearing debt, this is something not acceptable from Sharia viewpoint, okay, for anyone to enter into a debt-based arrangement which involves interest, that is not acceptable. So if a company has got debt, which is interest based, then strictly speaking, from a pure Sharia perspective, this company should not be dealt with. However, if we become so strict, then we would not be able to do business with anyone. Okay. So, in case of listed companies, the shareholders, those who buy stocks of these companies, they do not have any control on the management of those companies. Hence, a compromise solution was that if the debt of this company is less than one third of its market capitalization, its market value, then this stock should be deemed Sharia compliant, i.e., this stock should be deemed fit for investing in a Sharia compliant way. So that was, you know, the rationale, you know, debt based. Now this, the, the ratio says debt, interest bearing debt divided by market capitalization. It's not referring to interest. It's saying debt and this, this is deliberate because Sharia scholars would not like to give a view on interest directly because this is a very, very sensitive issue. Okay. Then the second one, cash plus interest bearing securities divided by market cap should not exceed, or divided by total assets in this case, should not exceed 
33 परसेंट अब ये जो कैश है और कैश लाइक थिंग्स इंटरेस्ट बेरिंग सिक्योरिटीज और एनी अदर सिक्योरिटीज नाउ देयर इज देयर इज प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ सेलिंग कैश फॉर एनीथिंग एल्स कैश फॉर एन अमाउंट व्हिच इज अदर देन व्हाट वी आर गिविंग फॉर एग्जांपल if the value if the cash is 5 million selling it for less than or more than 5 million this is riba now if a company is predominantly cash uske assets jo hain wo hain hi sare banko mein pade hue and its activity its physical assets are very few then the stock of that company would be representing cash and in stock market as we know this stock can go up or down this means it's quite possible that you are selling cash on a discount or a premium to ensure that that thing doesn't happen the requirement is that cash or the liquid aspect of the company should not be more than one third so this is the second sharia rationale receivables plus cash or receivables divided by total assets why this ratio because receivables are what these are the debts which owe to the company if receivables are predominant in the total assets of the company in the worst scenario if all the assets of the company are in the form of receivable then the stock of that company would be representing debt only and you would be selling debt for a premium or for a discount which is prohibited from sharia viewpoint hence sharia scholars took a view that we must put a threshold on the receivable so the, if majority of the asset of the company are non receivable they are physical assets then this company would be deemed as a real physical company and its stocks could be sold for a higher price or a lower price depending on the market condition so this is the third sharia rationale the fourth one income impermissible income should not exceed 5% this doesn't mean as i explained previously that for up to 5% of the income impermissible income is acceptable no when you are investing in this company and it has got 3% haram income you must purify that income by way of giving it to a charity so these numbers 33% 33% 50% they have a sharia rationale and these ratios they have sharia rationale as well sa molvio ne advise nahi kar diya this has actually become a reality this methodology or these methodologies adopted by different companies after a lot of research and deliberation by some of the top sharia scholars in the world